What's up, people? We're in Central Florida right now. We're testing out this air rifle I've got right here. And this air rifle fires 0.177 cal pellets. There's 250 in this pack. I'm right now, me and Layla, testing it out. Hopefully, sharpen up our shooting skills for killing some iguanas this weekend because we're gonna go back down to Everglades and run and gun some iguanas. So practice makes better doesn't make perfect it makes better so right now let's see how this goes first things first when using any sort of firearm or air rifle always make sure safety is our number one priority so we always need to treat every gun that it's loaded and it's live so first things first always make sure safety is off so look the safety this is the safety switch now so at all times we want to make sure the safety is on so that means now that the gun even though it's loaded that we press the trigger nothing's firing out because at the end of the day we don't want to make any mistakes or injure anyone or injure ourselves number two make sure that we're in a safe location when we're shooting and testing out our artillery safety off so right now guns live ready to run gun some trees so what i'm doing now is picking some leaves picking some branches and using them for target practice Let's see what we can do here right now what are you gonna aim for i'm gonna aim see that um horizontal tree there we're gonna blast it the right little the ones one. the medium sized ones okay so this mm -hmm. one oh. Fire in the hole. Boom. Each, this is a um, single action, so each time we've got to crack it. So. Again, let's aim for. Okay, in the middle of the tree there, a second branch on the left hand side. Three, two, one. Boom. Got it. <laughs> nice. Well, that's how you shoot a tree. <laughs> now it's Layla's turn to test out the air rifle. Let's get safety off. Did I get it? Target practice complete already and lock and loaded to catch some big Jurassic Park style iguanas this weekend. So, ready. Ready to rock and roll. It's a beautiful morning in the Florida Everglades. Just woke up right now, about to hit Shark Valley, check out some alligators, and then we're gonna go hunt some iguanas. Check this, this is how you hide a rifle in a truck. Nice. Now that's how you had a rifle. At the Shark Valley bike trail in the Florida Everglades National Forest. And this is usually $35 per vehicle to enter. But thanks to Papa Trump and shutting down the federal government means we get to come in for free. So thank you, Mr. President. You've done a great job and saved us some dollars. But yeah, right now, time to get 10 miles in with Layla on these trails. Should spot some gators on the trails and then we're gonna go a bit down south to Homestead and shoot some iguanas. Time to get some miles in. Just on our run with Layla and we look to our right, spot this guy just chilling in the water. Looks to be around nine footer, nine footer right there. every mile we have run so far me and Layla 
I've spotted an alligator, so check this bad boy right here. Pretty camouflaged, but not camouflaged enough for us. You can see you. At the halfway point now of Layla, so five miles round one direction. Now we're going to turn around and run five miles back. <laughs> smile on the run check out how close we are to this big alligator right here about a 10 footer right here check him oh yeah it's a big gator right there just finished 10 miles with Layla and we just spotted mama alligator and a little baby alligator so if you look there there's mama alligator We're right next to her you see there, one of her little babies from her clutch, little baby one, so don't get too close to mama alligator, but yeah, a little cool little spot. If you look right here, this is a sign for an alligator that's gone right into the swamp. You see where he's slid right in there, but yeah, so it's literally tens of thousands of alligators but they're perfect i can't fly for themselves we spotted a few so far but yeah looking out for any traces any tracks yeah gotta keep our eyes peeled right now we are back in the florida everglades for the fifth time right now currently as you see the sign here this is a panther location for the next seven miles so Gotta be prepared. But, but right now we're here trying to find some invasive animals, some iguanas, some Burmese pythons. So right now it's in the evening, so you all know that this is the most prime time that the invasive species are active. So we're gonna be searching down the side roads, down the trails, and on the main roads and keeping lookout and seeing what we can find tonight. So stay tuned. So we've just came to a different location now. So I see if we can spot any pythons here. There's been loads of signs saying like um, there's bears and panthers here as well. <laughs> we just need to be extra cautious. <laughs> 